<sighs> Why do these look so simple, but I don't know how to do them. Hello, welcome to my channel, Haley Marie Vintage. Today I have a very fun project for you guys. This is going to be another sewing project video with a bonus, I think, headpiece, I guess. This was a project that was inspired by, I found this spiderweb fabric at Seattle Recreative, actually like way back in like February, I think. And there was five, six yards of it. So I thought it would be super fun to make it into kind of a ball gown. And I was waiting for my skill level to allow for that. So I have all of this material. So first thing I found is what color I wanted to put it over. I was going between purple and green and ultimately chose green because I think this is really, really pretty. I don't have a full game plan for this, but I do have a pattern selected. So originally, I'll try to hold this closer. Um, originally I had gone with this pattern here. It's like a really cool ball gown and it uses the full five yards of fabric and I thought that was great. However, I have done my mock-up for this and I don't feel confident enough in my skill set to do use fabric that I spent more money on as well as something I'm really, really excited about and want to last for a long time. So instead, I'm gonna go ahead and use this pattern here. This is a pattern I've used before. I will link the video with the dress that I made with this down below, up above, I don't know, in the eye thing over here. Uh, but this is the pattern. I think this pattern is really flattering and it's one of my all-time favorite dresses I've ever made. This was the first dress I would say that I made that I felt was really well made and felt proud of. And I really like, I found like the princess seam and then it also has like pleats in the bust. So that is kind of the game plan for this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and move into the ironing stage. So I'm going to go ahead and iron this green fabric as well as the pattern pieces. And then I will get everything pinned down and check back in with you. Alrighty guys, I am checking in. Um, so I have just laid out and ironed all of the green fabric. So this is what this is looking like. So I have a huge amount of extra yardage, which is really, really great. I'll probably make up a shirt or a skirt or something with that. I don't know yet, but here are the pieces all laid out. I am going to cut these out and mark them. And then I will probably check back in after that before I cut into the spider fabric, which is gonna be a huge pain in the butt. So I will see you all then. Okay, so. Ugh, garbage truck again. So many trucks. Um, hopefully you won't hear it too bad, maybe you will. I'm currently finished cutting out the green. I will flip around my camera and show you kind of where I am at. Um, so as you can see here, I have the spider web stuff down below here. I have my cut green pieces over here. I've made sure to like really mark the sides that are the side that'll be inside. And then I've begun cutting the spider web. I wanted to give you guys a preview of what this looks like because I'm sure you're looking at the green and thinking I look crazy because the green is so bright. And so I wanted to show what it looks like with the spider web overlay so you guys can start to get a feeling of that. Once I get all the spider web cut out, I'm gonna baste these together. Um, I will either show you what that looks like or check in before that, we will see. Behind me, I have my sewing machine set up and my fabric pieces. So I'm getting ready to get going. I'm gonna start by basting these layers together. As you can see, I have all of these pinned. So I am going to baste them together. This is probably not going to be the most comfortably lined garment because the netting is going to be in the seams but it kind of is going to be what it is. Um, but I do think that this is the best method to go with um, because I don't want to make the full inner lining. So here are the basic pieces. As you can see, I basted them here. And then I have bodice pieces and then all my corresponding skirt pieces kind of laid out here. I'll probably check in after I get the front and the back assembled. Okay, we are at another check-in. I went a little further in a different order than I anticipated. I anticipated just sewing the whole front part, but the way, so I know that the 50s way to like construct a garment is to do it in like a certain order and by unit. I like to do it more by unit because I like to take turns sewing and then ironing. So I'm gonna real quick show you what I finished up this time. So as you can see here, I have the front and the back. 
One of the really interesting things about this pattern is that they have you put on the facing before you actually join them together, which is really interesting. But I find that I like it because it makes it for a really neat finish because you can actually press the neckline flat. And so it just ends up cleaner as well as the back bit, which also just ends up cleaner. It just, I've noticed that when I do it this way, it actually makes my sewing look much cleaner, assuming everything else goes the way it should. And then it's going to be kind of hard to show you this. Um, we have both the skirts here. We have one skirt, two skirts. Um, everything is shaping up the way I want, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I think this is going to be so gorgeous. Um, and it's going to be even more well constructed than the last time I did this pattern. And I'm really finding that I love this pattern a lot. And it's pretty quick because as of right now, it's 3.30. I started at about... 9 or 8 30 i don't remember um but yeah so i'm making good progress i will check back in when all the bottom the tops are to the bottoms and then together and that'll probably be the last step before i check out for the day just checking in one more time this will be my last check-in for day one of this project i'm actually really happy with what i got done i'll show you in a second but basically i have everything ready for the dress for me to do a fitting basically all it has to do be done is putting in the zipper um, and then tacking everything down and hemming you'll see how long this is when i try it on it will be very very long on me here is the dress it's kind of hard to see but it looks exactly the way i was hoping for it to it's turning out really really nice um, we're getting super close this is the edge that'll have the zipper in it and then the hem I will need to even out and then put on some hemming tape but that is pretty much it I will see you either tomorrow or in a few days all right guys I am here for one final check-in before I finish up the dress, I'm just gonna back up here so you can see the hem and where it's hitting me. I obviously need to hem this quite a bit shorter. I'm trying to decide exactly what length I want to hit, but I do have that. And then I need to put in the zipper, add the bow on the back and tack down all of the um, facings. So not too much to do, but all hand sewing for the hem. I am going to combine the layers together better because they're still separate with the hemming tape, and then I'm going to hem it that way. And then I'm debating whether I'm gonna retroactively add pockets because this is two layers I probably won't, but I guess we'll see. But that is gonna be it for check-ins with this dress. As you can see, it's looking good. I want to show you the back as well. Um, I just, yep, have the bow to put back there. and It'll be so cute. Um, and the color turned out the way I hoped. Um, it's obviously a kind of an ugly green inside but it looks gorgeous outside and exactly the way I wanted. And it really brings out, I think the green in my eyes. And yeah, next time I check in, I'm going to be working on the spider head piece. Before I hop into this madness, let me real quick check in with you guys. I realized I'll never show you the innards of the dress because in the reveal, I will probably wear the dress. So I just kind of want to show you. So I did end up stitching down all the facings. So it looks nice and clean on the inside. Um, I just wanted to have it pinned down and because it has the sheer overlay, the stitching isn't as noticeable. And then for the hem, um, I ended up hemming it much thinner than anticipated. I cut it and then it was all of a sudden shorter than I wanted, but I did still use just the hem tape and sewed it down that way and did just simple slip stitch. And then yes, the zipper is in, I put it in backwards first with the placket going the wrong way. Now the placket is facing the right way. It is unfortunately kind of uneven at the top, but that just sort of is what it is. We are going to work on the headpiece. Uh, so I have a bunch of things here. I bought this cause it kind of reminded me of a spider. I bought this cause it also kind of reminds me of a spider. I bought some little spider rings. I don't plan on using the rings, I plan on cutting off the rings and putting them potentially in the veil material. I kind of looked at some things at Etsy, so I'll show you those. I'll show you some inspo pictures right about now. And then I also got this netting material from one of the shops so for the headpiece um, to hopefully kind of drape over my face. I don't totally know how that works, but we're going to try to do it. Um, not huge piece, but enough of one. 
glue. I also have hot glue. I'll probably plan to overall use hot glue, but I do have backup glue. I got some rhinestones in case I wanted them. I'm not positive if I'll use them. And then my plan is to do a headband for this. I think that'll just secure it better. Oh, and I meant to, let me run and get it. We have it. Um, so I made this a few years ago when I had a last minute costume party I was gonna go to. It just kind of is a headband with a spider glue to it. I just think I can kind of up level this and make it look nicer, but I kind of wanted one that was a little classier, which is what we will be attempting with this and these. Um, so that is what I'm doing. Unfortunately, I wasn't paying attention and this one's already a clip, which is kind of annoying because now I'll have to glue the clip to the headband, I guess. But we're not going to worry about that. First off, we're going to try to, I think, get the net draped the way I want. Um, I have never made a netting hat before, so I have a mirror here. So that's why I'm going to be looking down there is because I have a mirror, except for now it's pointed too high for me. There we go. Oh, now it's too low. My mirror isn't holding tension well. Um, oh, I also have pipe cleaners just in case. I'm gonna shove this spider under the mirror to keep it up at like where I want. There we go. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm not quite sure. I don't really have a method to the madness today. I just kind of wanted to make something. Okay, so I have the headband in. And so if I wanted this to kind of maybe do that. Okay, maybe I need to look at my inspiration again. I think the footage for this is going to be longer than the footage for the sewing. It's like really poofy. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down and then I'm going to trim it questionably while it's on my face. Sorry for all of you watching and who this is nerve wracking for, but it's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so. I'm gonna just kinda do like a vague trim and then I'm gonna go in and neaten all the little ends. This is so dangerous, guys. Don't try this at home. I'm looking in a mirror though, I promise. I don't know if that really makes it any better. So then that's kinda shaped like this. And then I kind of want it to be like diagonally so it's only over Kind of one side of my face. Ugh, this isn't working the way I want it to. It's fine. Okay. So, okay, this is better. I just need this to kind of, I just probably need to glue this down. But now we're gonna stick on, I got this pom-pom kind of for like the booty of the spider with this. And hopefully it looks like a spider. I think it looks pretty spidery. Um, then I don't have to use pipe cleaners for legs cause that kind of feels a little bit cheesy, which is fine. I mean, this whole costume's cheesy, let's be honest. Um, but I can delude myself into believing it is less cheesy because of the things I am doing. Let's see. I think I vaguely want it to be kind of like this. Yeah, that looks super spidery. Ooh, spiders. Okay. So it's a, I think I vaguely want it to be like this and then I'll maybe put eyeballs on it we'll see it's looking a little bit less spidery now it's on my head but we're gonna continue on and if I change my mind about the pipe cleaners I have plenty of pipe cleaners so we're just gonna again take the hot glue gun I'm gonna just put a bunch on there and I do have a plan to stabilize it that's why I have the black felt down here um, I do understand that it's not just gonna like, especially with like fur stuff like this, you, ah, hot, I just put my, <laughs> that was so warm. I just accidentally put my fingers straight into the glue. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna put some hot glue there and put this down. Ooh, it's still hot even through the felt. Oh, I shouldn't put it on my head while the glue's still probably like hot and not dry. And then I'll deal with all the strings later too. Some of the cleanup and finessing I will be doing off camera. We'll just like awkwardly glue the clip to it, I guess. Which actually in theory should be easier because it's hard surface to hard surface. I'm trying to decide if I want to give them eyeballs. That's kind of one of the reasons I got the rhinestone. Sorry, this is chaos. 
but it's it's good. It's good chaos. I really want to put it on my head, but I have to wait until the spider is in its position. Yeah, yeah, look at this. It kind of, it looks like a spider. So I think this is all I'm going to show you on camera. I'm going to put in the little, little baby spiders in here. And then once I have all the little baby spiders in, I think I will maybe consider outering eyes. But I think this is where I will wrap this part of the video. And I will show you how this all turns out at the end. my headdress turned out better I thought these like feather legs would feel like spidery but they kind of don't and so I feel like I'm not really having the spider effect on my head so if I could go back I would put pipe cleaners on and stick with two big puffy pom-poms and then I don't really feel like I did the veiling very well I wish I had like watched a tutorial about veiling and used stuck my instincts and used like the puffy thing and the spider legs and maybe sewn my own spider shape. I don't know. But I do really like the spiders in here, even though this one catches my eye, which then hurts. But I am really happy with this dress. It looks great with my spider brooch. I feel very spooky. I love it with this hair color. I waited for this hair color for the reveal because I thought this hair color would go really well. And this hair color is the type of hair color that really brings out my eyes, which I always think is fun. Um, and then yeah, the dress I am really proud of. It fits really well. Oh, the other thing that I don't love is the zipper is like not even here. Um, but I do really like the bow in the back as always. And then I will wear this dress a ton and I will keep this dress a long time. It fits really well. Uh, you see me here wearing it with my spider petticoat underneath. I had made a petticoat as part of my Halloween sewing. So I used that, or I mean a slip, not a petticoat. Um, so I used that to kind of foof the dress out and I do really like that. Um, I do think this costume turned out really, really well and I am really, really pleased with it. I do think there are things to improve on. Um, I think I'm gonna just continue to like love and use this dress pattern. It just fits me so well, but that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, if you would give it a quick thumbs up, it definitely helps me out. And then if you're new to this channel, and you would like to subscribe, I would love to have you around. I will see you next time. Bye.